as Milwaukee's top cop. By far, I believe he's one of the better chiefs we've had. Before becoming an alderman, Robert Puente spent nearly 28 years on the Milwaukee police force. They're honest officers, they're ethical. Having worked under five different police chiefs himself, Puente is now speaking up for Chief Ed Flynn in response to a petition calling for Flynn's removal from office. There's been so many inroads since Chief Flynn has come here to build that trust in the community, and I think that these kind of incidents are chipping away at that. Flynn has been under fire in recent weeks, particularly after the release of this video showing the death of Derek Williams after he struggled to breathe in a squad car. Before that, there was criticism of the investigation into the shooting death of 13-year-old Darius Simmons, whose mother was held in a squad car for her witness statement instead of letting her stay with her son. Then this week, four officers were charged with criminal misconduct related to illegal strip searches. In a one-on-one -on -one interview with Fox 6, Flynn says he's not going anywhere. Every major police jurisdiction has critical incidents. Things go wrong. And the test of the organization is what we put in place to prevent recurrence and what we do with the incidents that in fact occur. Flynn began his career in Milwaukee in 2008 and was sworn in for a second term in 2012. During that time, he's earned praise and criticism. Flynn redrew district lines for neighborhoods and prioritized calls to enable more bike and foot patrols. At the same time, MPD struggled with Open Sky 2, the communication system Flynn inherited, which some say led to increased response times. And while the city's overall homicide rate is down and citizen complaints are down, the department acknowledged mis reporting aggravated assault crime numbers, blaming human error. I'm trying to uh, manage a complex organization charged with extraordinarily uh, pressure-filled responsibilities to the community. Flynn commands an agency of 2,000 sworn officers and 700 civilians. Alderman Puente says it's not fair to paint the entire department with the same brush because of the serious actions of a few. Reporting in the newsroom, Jenna Sachs, Fox 6 News. All right, moving.